Tell me if this has ever happened to you. You had to sit there and go through the tedious monotony of picking dozens of elements just to hide them, override the graphics, or something else. Then, on the last one you pick, you spaz out and everything becomes unselected. Ugh. In this video, we'll look at how to basically create a record of what has been selected in a model and reselect those items all in one shot. Let's start a new model in Revit. Of course, we're going to use the structural template for our template file. Then we'll click OK. Let's start drawing some walls. Let's go to the structure tab, click wall. That one, that one, that one, whatever. Click the beam. Now, what we want to do is create a selection set. So if you just simply select all of these items, let's click on Save, Save Selection. Call it Walls and Beams. Click OK. Hit Escape a few times. There, you've done it. Now, let's go to the Manage tab. Notice that we have Selection over here. We can edit a previously saved selection set, or we can load it. So when we load it, we're not really loading anything. So click load, select walls and beams, click OK. What that does is that simply selects the items that you had selected, right? If we click edit, we can apply filters. We can use selection filters. That's our walls and beams. Now, if I select walls and beams and I click edit, I'm going to just basically remove this beam and this text from the selection. So if I click remove from selection, I'm going to select this and I'm going to select this. Multiple was checked by default. So I'm going to click finish, finish selection, click OK. Now, if we go back to load selection, walls and beams, Click OK. It selects everything but that one little beam. That's it. That's quick. <laughs> I really should use this feature more. I forgot how useful it actually is.